everybody, DV here from me and my TV. Checking in at Caffeine and Octane, February 5th, 2017, at Camaro Road with my man. Gerald. And we got Falcon right here, which is a? 2010 Camaro. Now, first off, how long you had it? I've had it since 2014. 2014, how many miles you got on it? Got about 136,000 miles on it. God damn, was it your daily? <laughs> yeah. All right, now, after all the cars you could have got, Why'd you choose the Camaro? I chose the Camaro because I had a 93. In my 93, the um, transmission went out. And I always told myself I would get another Camaro. So, she had it for basically, what, a couple, like two and a half years by now? Yeah. Any mods done to it? I got the Manifold exhaust. I got um, racing stripes on it, rally. Well, not racing stripes, but um, side stripes on it. Any plan on future mods for it? I'm going to get the... Um, Windows tinted and a wrist spoiler. You mind turning it on so we can hear that exhaust? Yeah, sure. All right. Because you already know in a couple months I'm getting my exhaust done. So I want to see how this puppy sounds and see if maybe my might change my mind than what I already decided on. myself right now people that sounds even better in person how much did the, how much did the exhaust run uh, it does run, run about 500 and what's the exhaust that you got Madden flow where'd you get it from I got it from muffler Kanye's muffler do you have to give me any extra miles, like an X pipe, down pipes, or was it just a exhaust? No, just the exhaust. Just the exhaust. You want to give a shout out to any uh, social media, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube? Um, yeah, you can find me on uh, Camaro Junkies. And that's it. That's it. I'll put a link in the comment section so everybody who wants to check out more of Gerald's Falcon's car, I'll go ahead and let you guys check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this Camaro. We're going to go ahead and check out some more. On everybody, we're still here at Caffeine and Octane, still at Camaro Row, February 5th, 2017, with this badass black Camaro here. Now, if you guys saw the five favorite Camaros that I've ever seen video, this is number five, and it belongs to me. And you are? Lyndon, uh, Kon dash underscore. Come over there so they can see it. There, there we go. Kon underscore. Um, Gordon on Instagram. Hey, uh, now, if anybody wants to follow you other than Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you got any more handles? Hey, so that's it, man. That's, uh, it, that's it? Yeah. All right, now, how long have you had the Camaro? Um, bought it brand new in 2011, five miles on it, um, one owner since then. Now, after all the cars that you could have got when you decided to get this one, why did you choose to get a Camaro? Actually, the reason I got it was this orange one over here. So that's why you at car shows, I turn my red ones on. I don't even fuck with it. The guy that told me. No, not What's good with the orange one? The orange one actually belongs to my friend Tony right there. He bought it for his wife. And ever since then I saw it, I was like, I gotta have one. I gotta, 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 gotta have one. All right, let's go back to yours. Rotating flasher amber or flashing amber. So you basically had the car for a little over what, six years now? Yeah, 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 going on six years, single owner. Any mods you've done to it? Uh, a lot, actually. Um, the hood's custom, it's hardwood custom. It's just um, it's an extractor hood, it's functional, pulls the heat out of it. Um, did the GM Heritage Curl on it. I'm just saying, like, Got the custom wheels on there. Yeah, and uh, since I'm not good at pronunciation, how do you pronounce these wheels? They're called Four Star F14s. What size are they? They're 20s. They're 29 and a half in the front, 2010 and a half in the rear. Um, they're super deep. In the rear. Don't see too many cars with them, too many Camaros with them. They're a little dirty right now. Um, custom color with race gold on them. I wanted something different. Everyone else is doing black on black, they're doing grays, and I was like, I have to have something different. 
The spoiler is actually custom. It's a CTA spoiler. It comes in black. It looks really close to OEM, which is why I like it. It's not too impressive, but bigger than stock. Painted the wheels, uh, no the wheels. The lens is black, cover is black. Then I've got a full exhaust, headers, uh, uh, mid pipes, three inch exhaust, and a uh, cold air intake, ported throttle body. Um, haven't dynoed it recently, but it should make 370 to 80 wheel ish. It's an auto car, so it doesn't dyno as high as other cars do, but that's it for now. Um, Any other future mods playing for it? Uh, Want to go turbo. We'll see how that goes. It's not cheap, but that's the plan. Hopefully, we'll do a twin turbo setup and go from there. So other than the turbo, that's just it? For now, yeah. yeah. I might do my forge the bottom end too, just to be safe. Um, that's about it. Now, the main question in close I need to ask you, after everything you've done to your car, yeah. after always wanting the car, why do you get a V6? Who got a V6? Why do you get a V6? Um, I like V8s. The capabilities, the aftermarket's there, they make crazy power. I'm more of a straight line guy than a turning guy, obviously, you can sell the video. <laughs> um, I daily drive the car, it's got 137,000 miles on it, dead or liable. I'm not saying V6s aren't, but I've always wanted to be. It's nothing like a V8 on a cold stock. There's nothing that can be in that. Do you plan on keeping it or getting something different? I'm going to keep this one. Um, so no minivan? No minivan. No minivan? No, that, that Sorry, never, folks. He's, he's not getting a minivan. I know y'all like that. <laughs> that was never really a thing. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> um, but I want to get a 6 gen. You want to get a 6 gen? There's one at least 6 gen. look good. We'll see what happens. And, uh, I'll let you review it, man. Now, all right, now one more time for anybody out there who wants to see more of this badass car or wants to connect to you. Let, let everybody know your social media one more time. It's Kayon underscore Gordon, K A Y O N underscore G O R D O N. I'll put it in the comment section so everybody out there who wants to see more of this badass fiction, you guys can see that. Hope you guys enjoyed this fiction. We're going to go ahead and check out some more. Borrow my touch just to break it. You thought that I would need a break, but you didn't know that I faked it. Everybody, DV still here at Camaro Row here at Cafe and Octane with my man. If I can get the camera right now, if any of y'all have seen my five favorite Camaros I've ever seen video, the one car everybody was looking to check out was this badass. Hold on, let me show you the insignia. The badass Bumblebee, and. <laughs> Oh man, run out of battery life. Here we go. There we go. Now, first question: Are you a Transformers fan? Oh, absolutely. What made you get the Camaro? Well, my son had turned uh, five, and you know, I had a uh, just a regular car, and I thought, well, you know, I'm going to make some memories because you know, if you got a minivan, no one's going to remember that thing. Right. So I got a yellow Camaro, and uh, I just figured, you know, why not go? I, I debated on whether to put the Transformer symbol on because I didn't know if you know people would think it was cheesy, but then I just said, I don't give a crap. Uh, from there, it just spiraled to the stripes and then went into performance mods and other, you know, visual changes. And we've made so many memories and, you know, just having a lot of fun. It's a good hobby. And uh, he's out here somewhere taking videos. He's over at the Lamborghinis. He, he loves the imports. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, so that's where it kind of started. And I was looking for a hobby, and I had a fourth gen a long time ago. And I uh, haven't, uh, you know, had something I really enjoyed for a while. And I was really busy building a house. And, working so this has been a great outlet so it's pretty much all of my bad hobbies wrapped up in the one 
Now you were talking about how you've done so many exterior mods. Let's go ahead and walk around your car. And if you go ahead and just lead us through all the exterior mods you've done to your car so far. Yeah, so um, it's funny because it adds up. You don't really think about it. You know, I did the bow tie delete on the front. I put vinyl uh, going to the splitter. The splitter's aftermarket. Uh, the halos are Morimoto halos. Um, I've got a blackout on the front. I've got the cyberglyphics. Uh, I've got the blackout where the mail slot is. The uh, LED for Knight Rider, just for shows, man. <laughs> and uh, let's see, as far as uh, wheels, I've got the... Uh, style 41 Z01 replicas, and um, I did the uh, fender vents and uh, rockers, some cymbals, of course the uh, vertical door zinc, uh, Lambo door kit, uh, aftermarket heel stripes, uh, had the Brembo's done red from the factory gray, uh, of course, you know, some of the stickers that I like. Uh, as far as the interior, it's the uh, whole uh, metric kit and uh, Pioneer stereo, stereo system. I uh, did a carbon fiber wrap on the uh, some of the accents like up here. Now how's that wrap held on since you put it on? Uh, adhesive. So it's an adhesive wrap, and I used a heat gun to mold it over the sides, stuck it back in. And uh, of course, I put in the ZL1 uh, rear and uh, did a blackout by the tail lights. Put in the Titano Stalgia sequential rapid fire tail lights, which I uh, absolutely love. Now, since you've had your car and you've done all these countless mods to it, the main question all of us car junkies always have to ask and always have to answer is how much have, how much money have you spent on the mod so far? Well, there's two versions. It's the version that you tell your wife, right? <laughs> and it's the version that's the real truth. So, I mean, it's it's thousands. But that's amortized over four years, right? It's not all at once because you go too fast and you finish all your mods, you get bored with your car. So you just got to face yourself. Nope. Keep it exciting. Yeah, that is not the truth. Now, you said you've had it for four years. You've done all the mods to it. You've done a lot of things under the hood, underneath the body. Any other future mods planned for it? Yeah, so right now, as far as horsepower, I've got enough horsepower for the car. Um, what I'm having a problem with right now is putting the power down. The clutch can't hold. I've got drag radials. Last time I went to the drag strip and tried to hard launch, I mean, the clutch just stayed on the floor and uh, it was a complete fail. So next is going to be a uh, clutch and uh, after that it'll be a, a rear end axles and drive shaft and then i've got a two-step that i just installed i'll be able to hard launch it and uh, hopefully get low 11s high 10s now i've told everybody since i've seen this car a couple of times how good it sounds you mind starting it up for us so we can hear it yeah yeah the uh, turbo really quieted down the exhaust when i had long tube headers it, uh, it sounded really nice, and you could really hear the cam loping, but uh, the turbo quieted it down. And uh, I pulled up the uh, emergency brake too fast one time, and I just snapped it recently. So I got I got to kind of sit in here and hold the brake so it doesn't roll. Now everybody get your lotion ready because this thing sounds like a beast. And uh, I've got a ten-year-old, so they like to mess with the seat. exhaust do you have on the Bumblebee? Okay, yeah, so that's a, that's a good question. It's kind of a mix of a, a whole bunch of different things. So I've got my three inch downpipe from the turbo going into a stock two and a half inch exhaust, going through the uh, original resonators from the factory, but after that, it's pretty much a muffler delete. I've got two single chamber cherry bomb extremes on the back, going through some uh, NVRP Now, if we were to bring this 
whole interview to a conclusion. After everything you told us about your car, after all the memories you made in your car, if there's one thing about your car that you love the most, what is it? It's the cam, hands down. I mean, as far as horsepower, the turbo was the biggest uh, power increase, but when it comes to a cam, when you're sitting at a light and the whole car is shaking and people are looking at it, you have the police sitting there looking out the window, which has happened several times. Um, hands down, it's the thumbs up, and uh, it, it's just, it just feels like a powerful car, even though it doesn't provide as much horsepower. The cam is just so much fun. Now, if anybody wants to see any more videos or pictures or clips of this badass car, how can they follow you on social media, Instagram, Twitter, or anything? Okay, yeah, so I, I do have a YouTube channel, but it's, uh, it's just little clips. It's nothing... Uh, you know, major, but it's RD and Rebecca. I'll go ahead and put that link in the comment section. So if you guys want to see more of the Bumblebee, you guys can go ahead and check it out. Hope you guys enjoy this me, this edition of Me and Mine TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out all the videos that I've done so far. Hope everybody's having a great ass weekend. Stay tuned for the next upload.